Right now on NBC 26 Live at 10, neighbors on edge after explosives found in an apartment. The latest on an investigation in Oshkosh that even has the FBI getting involved. Plus, after nine years behind bars for an armed robbery, O.J. Simpson will soon be released from prison. Here is emotional testimony to help convince the parole board to set him free. And watch your wallet as you head out for your summer family getaway. Some tips on how to avoid getting ripped off by scammers trying to take your cash. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Cassandra and John are off tonight. A 29-year-old Oshkosh man has been arrested after police found explosives in an apartment he's believed to have some sort of ties to. And police say the FBI are still investigating what the explosive might have been intended for. NBC 26's Eric Kress leads us off. Just off of the 200 block of Northwest Haven Drive in Oshkosh. Nice, calm friendly neighborhood. Something unexpected was discovered when police showed up for a harassment call at one of these 50 plus apartment complexes. Possession of explosives, yeah, uh, that's what he was arrested for and jailed for as well. The news that explosives were found by a bomb squad in this neighborhood has left some shocked. In Oshkosh, Wisconsin, no less. Oshkosh, Wisconsin retirees, young couples, growing families. And while police and the FBI are not saying what they believe the explosives were intended for, they know just how dangerous the situation could have been. I mean, in an apartment complex, I mean, it, it could be very, very dangerous. Uh, something sets that off, a fire occurs, uh, explosion, you know, you name it. I mean, it, 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 it could have been serious. There's so many young families in this area just waiting to, you know, buy their first home. And it, it's just appalling. It just, it makes me sick. It really does. Fortunately, though, police and the FBI found out about the explosives before anything happened. Keeping you connected in Oshkosh, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26. All right, thank you, Eric. Now, the Winnebago County DA's office says they will likely file charges against a suspect as soon as tomorrow. Once that's done, though, we'll have a better idea of what authorities believe the explosives were intended for and who the suspect is. Green Bay Police still need your help tonight after for finding a missing woman who they say could be in danger. They're looking for 28-year-old Jessica Hubble, who you see here. Police say she was last seen around 2.30 this morning and is believed to be with 32-year-old Brian Lakia. Police tell us it could be in a 2004 gold Chevy Impala, just like this one you see here. If you do have any information on Hubble's whereabouts, please call the Green Bay Police Department. Two Shawna County deputies who fired on a man during a pursuit have been cleared of all charges. The DA says deputies Spencer Russ and Chase Mason reasonably believe they were in danger when they shot Daniel Onesti. Back in February, they responded to a call about a distraught man making violent threats in Almond. When Onesti tried to escape, he rammed a squad car, then said he planned to shoot the first officer he sees. A Green Bay man is behind bars after allegedly firing a gun into the air during an argument. Police say they weren't able to find anything hit by the bullet. They say it happened early this morning outside a house near the corner of South Clay and Crook Street. The 50-year-old suspect was charged with disorderly conduct and intoxicated possession of a firearm. Well, switching gears now, let's turn to Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. So, Cameron, it was really humid out there today. Yeah, it was earlier, but Cameron, is it actually going to cool down this time? No, it is not going to cool down anytime soon, at least not tonight. This is one of those nights where if you have a fan blowing in your face or the air conditioning is on, you're in luck <laughs> because it is warm and muggy outside. Temperatures are still in the 70s across most of the state, and it's quiet. We have no thunderstorms right now anywhere in Wisconsin. That is certainly good news. We need a chance to dry out before the next round of storms arrives tomorrow. In the meantime, look for clear skies for the rest of tonight. Lows will be in the lower to mid 60s. Lots of sunshine tomorrow morning as that thermometer once again quickly climbs back up into the 80s. Back to you. All right, thanks so much for that, Cameron. So still trending tonight after almost nine years behind bars, OJ Simpson will soon be a free man. The Nevada State Parole Board granted his parole after hearing from Simpson, his daughter, and one of the victims from the 2007 armed robbery that took place in Vegas. Simpson closing the hearing with what some are calling a very emotional apology. It's time to give him a second chance. 
I've spent nine years making no excuses about anything. I am sorry. October 1st is the earliest date he could be released. Simpson told the parole board he plans to live in Florida once he's a free man. On to some developing news now. Arizona Senator John McCain says he's itching to get back to work already. Despite being diagnosed with an aggressive brain tumor, doctors say the cancer will likely slow that part of his life down. It also says the same cancer that took Ted Kennedy's life 15 months after a similar diagnosis. Now to a consumer alert for many summer is time for a family getaway, but with more people looking for a great deal, scammers are looking to cash in. NBC 26's Megan Lowry takes a look at some of the most popular summer scams and how you can avoid falling victim. Whether you're in the hunt for a great hotel for your next vacation or looking to buy a camper or motorcycle to get in some summer adventure, Consumer experts are warning you your best defense against a scam is being an informed consumer. A quick Google search for a summer getaway deal will turn up thousands of websites and ads, many legitimate. But what happens when it's not what you bargained for? Approximately 15 million online scams happened last year when it came to hotel reservation bookings. That's a lot. I mean, I can't even comprehend that. Dean Lissell from Security Retirement Solutions says that's why you need to do your own research. You can go online and you can find a lot of review websites to find out if they're legitimate. And also you can check on the hotel itself. The Better Business Bureau offers a scam tracker, a crowdsourced database of consumer reports across the country in Wisconsin and even just in Appleton or Green Bay. It's really helpful for you as a consumer to empower yourself to see, you know, what's happening in my area. Susan Bach with the Better Business Bureau sat down with us to look at scam reports across the state. We get phone calls every day, you know, from people who are inquiring about a suspicious phone call or letter or email, so um, it's just nonstop. Both Lissell and Bach say when it comes to travel scams, watch out for phone calls or letters claiming that you've won a trip or websites offering prices that are just too good to be true. And protect your money and pay with a credit card. Credit companies often allow you to dispute false charges. Another summer scam leaving many consumers unhappy are those targeting adventurous types looking to buy a kayak, camper, or even a motorcycle. NBC26 did our own research finding an ad on Craigslist for a 2006 Yamaha with a Milwaukee phone number and a great price. But a little more digging shows a similar picture of that bike for sale in different areas all with different contact numbers. Knowing the red flags of a scam is really half the battle. The BBB says this appears to be a classic example of what they call a phony ad scam. Scammers copy legitimate ads and repost. So what are the warning signs to watch out for? Well, the price is very low, the seller is stationed out of town, and you can't see the item in person, and they ask you to wire money first. The bottom line is in the age of technology, you have to be a smart consumer. Unfortunately, a lot of people aren't going to be looking out for your best interests, especially the scammers. If you have concerns about a website or phone call, the BBB recommends you contact them. We have information on how to do that on our website. Megan Lowry, NBC26. And for more tips and tricks to avoid summer scams, we have a link on NBC26.com. And in Green Bay, Governor Scott Walker participated in today's Fight Fraud Wisconsin Day. He's leading this effort with the Office of the Inspector General to highlight local efforts to detect fraud, waste, and abuse of public assistance programs. Just this past year, the OIG reports $51 million of savings statewide. Anytime there's areas where waste or fraud or overpayments occur, that's money that's taken away uh, from vital services that are needed for our friends and our neighbors. There was also more than $10 million of savings in Brown County alone this year. And if you're in the market for a new job, you don't have to look too far. There's 100 new ones coming right here in Green Bay pretty soon. Lorca is a customer service solutions provider. Right now, they have around 400 people. They say the new positions, though, are in customer service, team leads, managers, recruiters, and more. Also, if you're fresh out of school, you're in luck because you don't need prior experience, but be ready. But we have flipped the interview process on its head. We, like I said, we want passionate people. So we want candidates to come and actually interview us. 
And if you missed today's meet and greet, don't worry, Lorca says you can still apply online as well. Also, the Radisson pa Paper Valley Hotel getting a facelift after owners announced a renovation plan. The company Inner Circle says the project will connect the hotel and the Fox Cities Exhibition Center with a walkway. There will also be updates to the lobby and conference rooms, guest rooms, and exterior facade. That work is scheduled to start later this month. A Marinette mother hoping her new billboard ad will save her 35-year-old son's life. Terrence Rice is in need of a kidney. He was born with a birth defect, resulting in a smaller than normal kidney. Then at age 28, Rice learned his other kidney was shrinking because of kidney disease. Despite taking medicine, that kidney failed. He's on dialysis now and his small kidney is functioning only at about 5%. Since the billboard went up Monday, two people have called to donate. And if you'd like to help, check out NBC 2016. Well, coming up, exploring the great outdoors and classic rides. Check out the annual classic car show that transforms a small northeast Wisconsin town. Plus, coming home with a hot bad, see how the Brewers' top prospect continued his great start with the Timber Rattlers tonight. You are connected to NBC 26 News at 10 with Cassandra Duvall, John Erickson, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland, and Sports Director Charlie Sakaitis. NBC 26 News at 10, keeping you connected. And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC 26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Temperatures were running a good 5 to 10 degrees above normal today across the state, and we can expect more of the same here as we move into the next couple of days. Tomorrow, high temperatures will be in the mid to upper 80s. We'll see mid 80s on Saturday, lower to mid 80s on Sunday, and then some cooler weather pushes in by Monday behind a cold front. Right now, we are looking at temperatures that are in the 70s, and that is way above normal for this time of year to have temperatures this warm at 10, 14 at night. It is currently 74 degrees in Austin. Oshkosh. Right now in Green Bay, it is 72, but look at that dew point. It is sitting at 70, and that means it is very humid outside. Two days ago, Tuesday, we had dew points up into the mid-70s. Yesterday, they dropped back down into the 50s, and then today, they were back up into the lower 70s, and they're going to stay there upper 60s to lower 70s over the next couple of days. As if the humidity wasn't enough, today was tied for our second warmest day of the entire summer. Temperatures were in the mid to upper 80s all the way to the shoreline of Lake Michigan with a westerly wind. Now we had highs in the 80s today, no 90s. In fact, across the Fox Valley, we have not hit 90 so far this summer. Typically during an average summer, we would have three days with highs at 90 or above. So far this year, nothing. Last year we had three, and if you combine the previous two summers, we had three as well. So not a lot of 90s lately here in Northeast Wisconsin, at least over the last several years. But if you want 90s or even hotter weather, just hop in the car and drive about five or six hours off to the south and west. 100 in Des Moines today, 102 in St. Louis. There is a big time heat wave going on just to our south. We have excessive heat warnings and advisories all over the place. And all of that is to the south of a frontal boundary that's separating a very warm and humid air mass from a very hot and humid air mass. And you can see that frontal boundary to our south. And that frontal boundary has been kicking up a lot of thunderstorms over the last couple of days. Tonight we have a couple of thunderstorms here across Iowa, also across North and South Dakota. Here in Wisconsin, it is quiet. We need a break after last night's storms. Some parts of southwestern Wisconsin picked up six to eight inches of rain. But that frontal boundary is going to move back to the north starting tomorrow. Lots of sunshine in the morning, sun and clouds by the afternoon, and then a chance for some thunderstorms as we head into the evening hours. And once again, with those thunderstorms, there is a threat for some severe weather across the area, a marginal threat right now. We'll have to wait and see if that's upgraded or not as we move into tomorrow. A marginal threat means that a few storms could be strong to severe. On Saturday, a better chance for widespread severe weather across the entire state with that frontal boundary right overhead. We have a slight risk for severe weather, and that means all types of severe weather are possible. So your forecast for tonight calls for fair skies and quiet weather. It's going to be muggy, overnight lows only in the lower to mid-60s. Tomorrow, warm and humid, and it's going to be 878 degrees tomorrow. Woo wow, it's going to be hot. No, it's not going to be that hot. That's obviously a typo. 
<laughs> it's going to be 87 degrees. If you're running in the Packers 1K with your kids tomorrow, it is going to be very warm and humid. We're going to have to watch that chance for a thunderstorm at Lambeau around 6 o'clock. As we move into Saturday, sun and clouds, chance for a thunderstorm, cooler. Any thunderstorms that do develop could be strong to severe. Still a lingering storm Sunday morning, much cooler on Monday with lots of sunshine. And then we will start to warm up again as highs get back into the lower 80s. Can you guys imagine 878 degrees for a high? It felt that way, though. It did feel that way today. I, I felt today. The sun was beating yeah. down. I was out earlier today. It did feel really hot. Not that hot, though. So. <laughs> Close to it, though. No, no that, would be, that. that would be tough to take. <laughs> that would be. Well, thanks for that, Cameron. Yeah. Now, still ahead, Gearhead's Dreamland comes true. How an annual classic car show brings over 100,000 people to Northeast Wisconsin each year. And continuing to impress, see how the Brew Crew's top 10 draft pick again made an impact for the Timber Rattlers tonight.